Hey everybody, look, look where you landed. It's the infinite regression. Yes, all of your worst nightmares have come true. But don't worry, I'm I'm here to play video games. Whoa, what, what is, where, where am I, what, who the... Some of the bench, but not the entire bench. Let's play Crimson Earth 2. This is a game that was purchased for me by... Hackers, because 4.7 hours usually indicates hackers. Um, let's do fantastic. I think I can handle fantastic graphics. Uh, 1920 by 1200, that sounds about right. Made with Unity? Uh, yes, indeed. A lot of people use that Unity. Oh. Oh god, that's loud. Hold up, is that loud on my capture? Yeah, that's loud on my capture. I'm gonna have to turn you down, friend. No one is louder than me. Certainly not the game. Okay. Uh, I've got zero funds available. I can't buy weapons, but let's do single, because... Uh, wait, what? Uh, okay. Wait, what? Okay. Where is my caddy? I don't know where my caddy is. Okay, was the E's cycle weapon. G's throw grenade. Okay. All right. Oh, I remember this. He just walked through the wall. Yeah, jobbies that walk through walls. All right. I don't know what I expected, but certainly wall walking jobbies was Right up there. Okay, do they spawn infinitely? That's what I need to know. So I don't know if I can get out of this room, to be quite honest. Anyway. Oh, this game is scary. Uh, one of my students watched my channel, which, why, and, and then was like, play a scary game, look at how scary this is, uh, they are l lumbering slowly toward me, I, I have to headshot them with the power of headshotting this, I'm on a killing spree, apparently, not loving the gun sound right now, um, I gotta kill faster because they are starting to catch up. Ooh, am I getting down to the last few? Look at that pile of bodies. That is, that is disgusting. Oh, and it just made a squishy squish. Yeah, it seems like I'm running down to the last few jobbies. I, I've tried. The glass is unshootable. Which uh, really makes me think, like, why have more developers not learned from Red Faction? Like, the first Red Faction game was notable because you could shoot everything. Like, um, one of the things in the game, there was a, a demo of just, like, 
a house in which everything was shootable. That guy have spaghetti arms? Oh god, here comes more. Okay. Apparently, I'm gonna need to, like... How do I, how do I door? How do I, do okay, how do I door without you? Okay, um... All right, I'm gonna go, let's see, do I need to go up or down? I have no idea, but either way, jobbies. Up jobbies, down jobbies, everywhere jobbies, jobbies. Exit, that looks reasonable. Nope, I'm gonna get cornered by jobbies, is what's gonna happen. This game is scary. Actually, it's not that scary for a jobby game because these are pretty slow moving jobbies. And apparently, I just have unlimited ammo. Like, I don't know what I did to deserve such a boon, but indeed, I did it. Like, what? What is this place? I can't go up, I can't go down. But I can, like, yeah, walk right past them. Because they are not the smartest. How many do I have to kill? Like, I haven't even gotten touched yet by any of these jobbies. That one's moving pretty fast. Get away from me. They're all roughly the same height, so it's not that hard to headshot them. Oh, am I out of ammunition finally? What? I can't be. Fine, I'll change guns. I don't mind. Ain't no thing to me. What? My pistol is wicked good. Oh, you got too entirely too close to me, friend. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna wander around and just see if I can go places other than where I am. It doesn't seem like it is like up is blocked up. It just seems like they're spawning forever. I'm just supposed to shoot until I'm, until either they or I am dead. Like, oh no, what? Was that ammo, I, that glowing green bit? Yeah, oh wait. Nope. Do I have to gl get the glowing green bit to win? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where else to go or what else to do other than to just keep shooting these slow freaking zombies. Like, I mean, you have a door marked exit. But it's got jobbies behind it. Now can I go through? No. Clearly. I've already been that way. And also... Yeah, sorry. 
gangly mass of ganglies. Like, sorry about your gangliness. I'm gonna go back through here just because, like, reasons. I don't know. Just seemed like a thing to do. Oh no, Melissa, we were friends, and now I'm shooting you in the face. Okay. Um. You know, some instructions from the game would be uh, useful about now. Okay, I wonder if I can escape. Yes. The answer, as always, is yes, I could escape. Um, and I wish that I had more ammo for that gun. Yeah. They're having a jobby party. Oh no. Not Karen from accounting. But it was just her birthday. Oh, you're too fast, fool. You need to stop. Also, you have, like, some military-type gear. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Wait. Wait, what? Why am I not... All of a sudden, I'm not doing the thing. You know, the shooty bang bang, the rat tat tat boom boom, the boom rat tat tat boom. You know, the part that I like with the rat tat tat and the boomity boom? Yeah. Oh, am I going to have to melee these fools to death? Like, okay, this is not the exit. We have established that firmly by now. And also, like, I, I don't know what else there is to do. Like, d is this... The fire exit? Has, have you been... See, no, it's not... You can't... Okay, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have any more bullets. I'm like 100% out of ammo. Oh, I got grenades, shoot. Why have I not grenaded them before? Oh my God. That, w that was... I can't even see my grenade. Well. Oh, sector cleared. I did it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right then. Um, I I cleared it. Okay, let's let's try a multiplayer. Uh, let's do industrial happy alley, I guess. I don't know if there's going to be... Maybe I was picking up grenades. Wait, maybe I'm walking backwards around. Like, I have no assumption that there will be any players in multiplayer. When it says multiplayer, does it mean like whoever joins and whoever joins is me? Like, come on, other players. Come on, let's do this. Let's get tactical. Let's get tactical, tactical. You know I want to get... Wait, did I hear somebody else shoot? Headshots, that's, that's where the money be located. Mm. 
be a little more judicious with my ammo, I guess. You don't even have a head. Everybody knows jobbies. You go for the head. Like, it's well known. It's well established in all the literature on zombies. You know, the vast... library of jobby knowledge like George Romero taught us one thing and one thing only just kidding he taught us several things wait who who shot a shotgun like I, I swear to god I heard a shotgun and that was not me I don't have a shotgun Maybe that's the sound of me walking. Look at how, like, floppy whoppy this dude is. Oh, I was hitting. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not multiplayer. I know it says multiplayer, but it's like. Legitimately, no. Okay. Yeah, definitely don't come at me with your not having a head. Can I not jump? Is there no jump in this game? Oh, crap. That guy came up right behind me. It's a good thing that I could literally walk at a reasonably slow pace and outrun any zombie in this game. You know what? I, okay. We're, we're going to put this to the test. Let me find a decent concentration of jobbies. I mean... Yeah, I'm going to try and die. Like, I think... Up, well... You know what? I think if I just stand still long enough, I'll get enough of them. Okay, let's find out. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. 1,000. Am I taking damage? My health does not... Okay, there we go. W holy Moses. This is going to take me all day. For a minute, I was like, I am good at this game. And now I'm like, everybody is good at this game. Like, you have to stand still. You, like, literally have to stand still for that long. Oh, it's pretty cool. You can watch your own uh, death. That, that's, that's a good time. Um, I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm going to leave. Ooh, try out another games. Try out another games. Okay, I'm going to exit. I'm going to exit you right now is what I'm feeling. Anyway, yeah, we, we did it. We did it. That was that was not the first Crimson Earth. That that was the second one. So I, I went and played it. Um, hold up just a minute, and I, I will put a score on it. All right, and I'm back. Okay, so... Um, yeah, you know, some of the games the Russian hackers bought me are not even games. You can't say that about Crimson Earth 2. It is a game. You can play it. It is playable. Um, and, sir, so, yeah, it, it's definitely, definitely a thing that you could um, play if you so desired. Actually, as a matter of fact, I haven't checked... Because, I mean, you know, there is community stuff. Let's see if there's a store page. Oh, uh, it is no longer on Steam. You missed out, people. You missed out on this excellent, excellent game. Uh, I mean, it's funny. I d like, one of the key ingredients to a good first-person shooter is a good weapon sound. Um, Borderlands is great at weapon sounds. Like, they are amazing at weapon sounds and at weapon customization. Like, yeah, if you want to know how to do it right, Borderlands. Um, anyway, the, didn't love the weapon sounds, didn't love a lot of things about the game, but, um, 
Oh, I wonder if I have like credits to spend now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I care enough to go back and look. Anyway, uh, sur -er, um Definitely it is a game that you can play, but is it a good game? Is it a fun game? Well, actually, like, I can see circumstances under which I would play it. Let me give it a final score first, and then I'll tell you what this game is good for. Okay. The final score for Crimson Earth 2, it's as easy as the common English idiom pictured above. Because, you know, this is one that I share with my students all the time. You know idioms. They are... Uh, commonly used, culturally understood sayings. Uh, so something like, it's raining cats and dogs. You understand that puppies and kitties are not falling out of the sky, but that it is raining hard. It's a common English idiom. All um, languages have them. Um, it, just sayings that, that people have that are culturally understood uh, the, the meaning of them is culturally understood, and if you take them at face value, uh, you don't understand it. Uh, like, here, here's a good one from Cambodian. Oh, he's drinking the broth while eyeing the meat. Right? Does that make perfect sense to you? Of course it doesn't. Uh, but what it means is uh, to be only in it for your own benefit. So, like, it derives from, you know, uh, having a communal dish and everybody's drinking off the broth first, but he's, like, trying to portion out the broth so that he can get the most meat, you know? So he's, uh, you know, he's only in it for his own benefit. He's not, you know, being communally minded. Um, is a common... Uh, Cambodian idiom. If you say hotak samlangak, people will be like, "Yeah, that makes total perfect sense." He is holding the tuck. Uh, that <laughs> wow. If I say it like a white guy, my pronunciation goes right out the window. If I like try and flip back and forth between Cambodian and English too much. Anyway, regardless. Uh, but yeah, this guy. It's as easy as falling off a log. Common English idiom, and yet when I say it around my students, they're like, huh? What? What's that mean? I don't get it. And and then I have to explain it to them. I have to be like, okay, if I asked you to fall off a log, do you think you could do it? And they're like, yeah, that's easy. I'm like, exactly. It's very easy. It takes no skill to fall off a log. Because, you know, gravity does most of the work. And if you get up on a log, mm, chances are you could just fall off. I mean, that's how it goes with logs a lot of the time. So, like, it's as easy as falling off a log. It's an idiom that's fairly easy to understand. And yet people, I swear to God, they're like, I don't get it. What does that mean? It's as falling off a log. <sighs> I feel like that uh, our idioms may shift very soon. You know, um, pedants like myself have very little to say about the direction the language takes because uh, languages always follow the common usage. They do not follow the preset rules of lexicographers. They do not follow the preset rules of you know, uh, English teachers, they just don't. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, idioms such as this one may soon be gone. But the point is, Crimson Earth 2 is an easy freaking game. It is not hard. It does not present a challenge. I didn't see a way to adjust the difficulty. Maybe there is a way. Maybe I need to look further. But like, I just clicked on a level and then like proceeded to own it hard <laughs> like 
it really wasn't it really wasn't that hard and i am not a great shooter player i'm just not a lot of my instincts are terrible like not seeking cover not using the full array of my weapons like you saw how late it was that i realized oh grenades like <laughs> um most seasoned fps players would have thrown a grenade by then um yeah it took me half of the game to realize that like oh right grenades anyway so it's super easy but what about that well here, here's the thing to know let me go back to the infinite regression to tell you this there is room in the world for games that are super easy and here's where that room is you know days when like things have gone poorly and and you're not happy and you're not feeling great and, and you're like oh my god i just wish i could go shoot some freaking zombies um sometimes i feel that way for real and i used to play old school doom with uh you know iddqd which is god mode uh, IDKFA, which is unlimited weapons. I'm pretty sure these are the codes. I have not entered them in quite some time. It's like remembering phone numbers. Um, I still remember phone numbers of my friends in high school. Coincidentally, my my friend Todd's phone number was three three seven four three three six, and my friend Diane's phone number was three three seven four six three three which was very easy to remember, and that's why I remember them to this day, even though neither of them have those phone numbers anymore because both of them have moved away from those houses. Their parents don't even live in that town anymore, and uh, yeah, I don't know who's going to pick up if you call that number. Please don't call that number. Anyway, you just remember these things. Anyway, I used to play Doom with uh, God Mode on, on days where I was just, you know, sort of mad at the world and needed to take out my aggression. Um, and, yeah, that is a thing that you can do. You absolutely can do that. Or you could play Crimson Earth 2, no cheat codes, and just feel like you're winning so hard. You're just owning it. Like, you're so much faster and better than all these zombies. Yeah. That's what it's good for. Anyway, so it's not a worthless game. It's not a completely horrible game. But it's not a great game. I mean, it has... Yeah, it has decent graphics. It it has uh, more depth than a lot of games in the uh, Russian hackers purchased me this category. Uh, which is not saying much, but um, it is an easy game. So only play it when you're not looking for a challenge and you're just looking for mindless shooty McShoot shoot. Anyway, all right, people, uh, that's it for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, bye.